Imagine the situation where you're building the next hot AI SaaS blockchain cat joke generator, cat GPT. You need to store a user's API key. We'll go through how to store users API keys securely in Django. There'll be five steps and we'll build a mini app to show you how to do it. So we'll copy this over, paste it in. Great. And we should see core and SIM pop up there. Now let's add our SIM, which is just the name that I've called the app. You can call it whatever you want to install apps. I normally go for SIM there. And now we, we want to include this because this is going to import our uh, add our environment variables into Django. So we'll add the envi file here, dot env. And then you're, we, we want to run this to generate our encryption key. You could use your Django secret key if you want, but I'm just doing this to show how environment variables should be separated. Shell, python manage.py shell, and then copy and paste that in. That's our key, add that in like that. Okay, now onto section two, create a model and now we're actually gonna do the encryption. So we go to our models and we copy this in. We want to store the user's API key in an encrypted form with our encryption key, which is in our environment setting. They should be separate from the database. Let's make the migrations here in your terminal and we can exit this, Python. Now we've created the database, which you should see there. Boop popped up, just register our model. This will be useful for later, just for demonstration. And we'll add that in here. Now section three, creating a front end. Let's create a form in sim, forms.py, and we copy in here. And you can see that this is taking the name and value in plain text and then saving it in an encrypted form here. So it uses our encryption key and then saves it. Okay, now we'll create our views and we're gonna create a little front end just to make it look uh, more interesting. Copy that into views here in sim. You update our URLs. So let's copy this into our sim URLs, which we'll need to create under a sim and python urls.py. There it is. Do that. And now update our core URLs to route from our site to our app. And we add those in here. Copy it in. Oh, now section four. We will add our templates. So we need to go into sim as usual. You probably know. And then templates, create a folder, and then add this to a new file called manage underscore API underscore keys for HTML. Copy in what we've got there. Now section five, we're going to just test it out. So we're going to create a user because we need to be logged in. We'll create a super user. It doesn't really, it doesn't matter at all. You need to, uh, I'm password, password, bypass validation. So yeah, finally, let's run our server. There it is, and let's go do it. And then we need to actually sign in as the user. So we're going to go to admin and then enter in our password. Mine is password, extremely secure. And you can see that's our registered API keys from earlier. And at the moment we have none. Now that we're signed in, we can go back to our app. And there we are. And now let's enter in a key. And then we've got, a, let's say we've got a long secret password, and then we get it's created. Let's create another one, password of slightly different. You can see here that we're using HTMX. HTMX is great, and I've got a good number of tutorials on that, so have a look if you'd like to learn more. It's really fast to use. And then if we go to your admin, the API keys, that these keys are here, but they are encrypted. If your database is stolen, essentially the passwords to the user's accounts, which are here, will not be taken. So I hope you enjoyed that and check out the other Django tutorials that I'm making.